Bringing Information to Life with Delaney Zambrano. Over the years, social media has evolved from a platform for direct electronic information exchange to a virtual gathering place and finally to an uber successful retail platform used by businesses and organizations globally to reach, retain, and engage with their target market. As of July 2020, there were over 3.96 billion active social media users, meaning that over half of the global population is currently active on social media. There has also been a 10.5% annual growth in the total number of users, which is evident in the following graph displaying the increased number of people using different social media platforms. To put this into perspective, there are about 7.79 billion individuals that make up our current population and 51% of them, around 3.96 billion, are active on social media. Not only has social media allowed for individuals to stay connected with their peers and share their thoughts and opinions, but it has also allowed for companies and organizations to develop more personal relationships with their audience and portray their brand in a more authentic, relevant, and engaging manner. As the graph presents, the leading benefits of using social media for marketing purposes include increased exposure, increased traffic, generation of leads, develop loyalty, improved sales, marketplace insights, growth in business partnerships, and increased thought leadership. Each of these benefits can be used to significantly increase UNICEF's current brand positioning and their share of voice. As established social media platforms continue to develop and new platforms are introduced, it is extremely important for corporations, especially international non-governmental organizations, to stay updated on shifting social influence trends in order to reach their audience members on the platform that they prefer. Without social media, social, ethical, environmental, and political movements would have minimal visibility. However, Social media helps to overcome this visibility barrier by boasting the organization's message on a platform that can be reached by many. As the following graph indicates, the social media platforms with the highest number of active users include Facebook, YouTube, WhatsApp, and Instagram. Additionally, the social media used most regularly by individuals include Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, Snapchat, LinkedIn, Reddit, TikTok, and Yelp. Finally, this graph highlights the platform uses of Gen Z and Millennials, separated by gender. As you can see, they are focused primarily on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. Considering UNICEF's current communication strategies are aimed at targeting Gen Z and Millennials, it would make the most sense for them to focus their efforts on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Recently, UNICEF has aligned itself with the UN Sustainable Development Goals and is currently working to promote a more equitable, just, and sustainable world for all. Their more specific objectives are to ensure that every child around the world is thriving, learning, protected, safe, and participating. A cause that is relevant to UNICEF's mission that would assist with the overall advocacy of their goals is the focus on quality education, which works towards their overarching goal of giving every child the opportunity to learn, thrive, and participate. UNICEF can use the social media platforms most important and relevant to their users, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram, to create strategic initiatives and campaigns to advocate for their mission, highlight UNICEF's current efforts, and call their audience members to action. A campaign of this sort could be executed across all platforms in different yet consistent ways. For example, on UNICEF's Instagram page, they can begin to incorporate a campaign where they publish content featuring different children that are working with UNICEF to continue their education. The images can be close up on the individual's faces with the caption telling the audience more about the child's journey, how UNICEF has supported them, and how the child will one day create social change. UNICEF can also create a hashtag to go with the campaign, such as hashtag Faces of Tomorrow, where other audience members can post similar content and easily locate the campaign features via Instagram hashtags. In regards to their YouTube, UNICEF can publish a series of videos that viewers can use to learn how they can contribute to the push for global education. These videos could be titled something like Your Turn or Your Next and can feature content such as easy to follow lesson plans, ways to get involved in your community, ways to get involved from the comfort of your home, information regarding the importance of education, and more. Finally, for their Facebook channel, UNICEF can work on creating a similar campaign to the hashtag Faces of Tomorrow, but can take it a step further by attaching links to read the full stories of the students, as well as buttons that can call the audience to action, such as donate now, visit our page today, etc. By utilizing the different communication platforms that most of UNICEF's audience is already using, Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook, 
we can work to strategically penetrate them using engaging and eye-catching campaigns that not only inspire contemplation, but inspire real and direct action. The goal of these education campaigns will be to direct a global spotlight on the importance of education and all that it can do for individuals. It will allow audience members to actively participate with the UNICEF brand and take this participation a step further by working to promote change on their own time.